What's going on guys? Joe Munoz here to talk to you about something you really want to be aware of with the A320 and it has to do with altitude and speed constraints that are manually inputted by the pilot, the changing of the runway, and what phase the MCDU is in. Now that's a lot to look at and I'm going to try to condense it as much as I can, make it as simplistic as I can. I'm really going to be tying several concepts together, but I want to start with first the phases of the MCDU. There's eight phases and I'm going to focus in this video on two phases in particular, which happen to be the descent phase and the approach phase. Now the approach phase, basically what it does is it commands the speed, the managed speeds to follow the flap handle. This will happen whenever the approach phase is active and the approach phase is active whenever we manually activate it or when we hit what's called the deceleration point or the circle D. Talk all about that more in detail in other videos as well as really in the energy management program included on our website. Now, let's talk about this descent phase. The descent phase, the airplane is going to descend at whatever airspeed it has programmed either by pilot input or by cost index into the MCDU. It could be anywhere between 270 knots upwards of about 320 knots depending on again cost index and what the uh, manual pilot input may have been. That descent phase is going to have you descending at about let's just say 300 knots, right? Now let's say you're descending at 300 knots and ATC gives you a constraint and they say hey cross this point at 6,000 feet 250 knots. 6,000 feet 250 knots. So now you're going to cross that point at 6,250 and all of a sudden they change midway through your descent. They say, hey, by the way, trainer, I want to expect this runway and it's a different runway than what you already had. And now you're going to go change the runway. When you go change the runway, the manually entered speed constraint and altitude constraint that was there gets deleted. Let me say that again. The manually entered speed and altitude constraint inputted into the flight plan page will indeed get deleted. So now let's think about how that plays out and, and why that's significant. You're descending at a 12,000 feet. You're descending across this point at 6,250 knots. The airplane's decelerating. It's slowing down. Okay. And the next thing that's going to happen is they change that runway. You go ahead and change that runway and that altitude or speed constraint gets deleted. If the airplane was slowing to meet the 250 speed constraint, and all of a sudden it gets deleted, it's just going to revert to whatever speed it was in in the descent phase, which might have been 300 knots. So all of a sudden you may expect to see an engine spool up in that particular case. What I'm saying is when you have that runway change, be sure that your speed is doing what you want it to do and also moreover really be sure to check those speed and altitude constraints in the flight plan page because they will get deleted and you may have a speed variance that is not what you otherwise wanted because just because they change a the runway doesn't mean they've changed the speed and altitude constraint so you may end up finding yourself in violation of that if you're not quick and know your automation catch it and rectify the situation all right that may be a little bit confusing for those of you that aren't too familiar with a320 terminology uh, all the phases of the mcdo and really the automation and descent planning but i do want to very much encourage you to check us out online, westerprep.com, you know the website. Uh, we have a video there where I talk about this stuff in detail. In fact, it's not really a video, it's a full-blown course, several videos long, and when you enroll in our program for as little as 99 bucks, you're gonna get over 20 hours of content uh, where we have very, very easily digest um, principles and concepts and subject matter that hopefully uh, you'll find to be of value. All right, Joe Munoz and A. And last but not least, I would like to also let you know I'm running a 10K race here in September, September 18th. I'm raising funds to donate all of it basically to student pilots that need to pay their lessons. If you want to be a potential recipient or uh, contribute, number one, it's very much appreciated. Uh, number two, maybe you'll be the recipient of that money if you want to get a chance to do that. OneStepPrep.com forward slash race is the link to both contribute and also be a potential recipient. All right, have an awesome day. Be great. Look forward to all your feedback. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. We'll see you soon.